So you had questions, we have answers. Barbara Seclair wrote in, what is the best or proper way to deal with lice or mites on chickens? All right, we're talking, uh, we're talking lice and mites, not li mites and lice okay. or something. <laughs> well, I got it wrong before. That's all anyway. right. Yeah, I know, lice and, and mites and, and other potential external parasites. Uh, so depending on whether you're organic or not, if you're going to use a pyrethrin, which is a uh, natural uh, insecticide from plants, or permethrin, which is the synthetic of that, there are many sprays and, and powders you can use based on those. Or you can use a product called Seven, S-E-V-I-N, which is a carbamate or carbaryl. And when I use either the dust, when I use dusting powders and small numbers of birds, I like to use what's called the shake and bake method. All right. And shake and bake, you probably remember that. You put the chicken in the, the bag. Chicken in and the you bag the and then you shake, shake it. it up. I, well, I can't imagine thing. taking a full chicken and putting it in a bag. Well, not shake. a little bag. So yeah. what you can use is a fairly large pillowcase. All right. and put the pillowcase inside another plastic bag. All right. And then you're gonna put some of the dusting powder in that, and then you're gonna wear a face mask, you're not breathing it in, yeah. and, and eye protection. And then you're gonna put the bird in, and gloves really should do, because you're gonna be handling a lot of this stuff in between birds. So, and then protect yourself. You put the bag, bird in the, in the bag for a couple seconds, it's gonna flap its wings. That dust is gonna get all over, and it's gonna really permeate the feathers and skin, and that's one of the best ways uh, to treat. So you're not actually shaking the chicken. You're not shaking the, the chicken. The chicken's not going to like... Chicken, no, the chicken in the bag is going to flap and jump and it's going to create the dust in the, in the bag and then you, then you very carefully, you know, on the bag, push on the chicken wings so they're down and calm and then you can reach in and take the, the bird out. Gotcha. Uh, so the other thing is prevention and one of the ways to prevent this or to reduce it in your flock is to have a dust bath. All right. And so dust bathing is the natural way that hens try to get rid of ectoparasites. And so for a dust bath, what I recommend is that fine grade sand that you have for your kids. Like a uh, playground sand? sand? Playground sand yeah. for the kids. It's clean and refined, it's super fine. And in that you can mix a couple other different things. Some people like diatomaceous earth. Again, you're using a food grade, super fine grade. And you can mix that 25, 30% in with the sand. All right. in your box and that helps. The other thing people use is wood ash. You know, if you, so you have a fireplace or a wood burning stove, the ash from that, you break it up, it's very fine. Now you gotta be careful with the wood ash to make sure that you keep it dry. Because why, do we keep, ash, why do we keep it dry? Yeah, because when it gets wet, you start producing lye. Oh, that's no good. And that'll burn the birds and, oh, and yeah. so keep, keep it dry. But wood ash is, is again, it's a fine particle. And the idea of these is to scratch the ecto ectoskeleton on the ectoparasites so that they dehydrate and die. That's how those work. Whereas the insecticides go in and actually work on their metabolism. So you can either use the chemical method of the insecticides or you can use the somewhat more natural method of a dust bathing. And preventing and it. Pre and try to reduce it. You, you're not going to get 100% no matter what you do, but you're going to reduce it down to a reasonable yeah. level. And that combined with keeping a clean coop clean, and exactly. you know, moving your birds, if that's your style of management, right. uh, and making sure there's not a lot of buildup of just yeah. nasty after a while, because it's livestock, it can yeah. build up with nasty yeah. if you're not managing your And your for many of these, you can look at your birds and you can see if they have lice or mites if they're moving when you do your visual inspection. However, the chicken mite mm -hmm. only feeds at night. Only feeds at night. Only feeds at night. It's got preferences. So, so it jumps off the bird during the day. So it's in your litter, it's in your sidewalls. So for that, you have to go in about two hours after lights out and you have to have a good flashlight and you pick up your bird and look and you see these little, little buggers, you know, walking or jumping off the bird, then you know that you've got the chicken mite and now you still have to treat the same way with the other things, but now you know where it's coming from because Sometimes you, you see the after effect, you see cuts and scratches and blood on the bird, but you yeah. don't see the mite of lice, and you wonder why you have it. And that's why it'd be the chicken mite. Now, will you see anything on the chicken skin, like little red dots? Yeah, or, you yeah. Know? you'll see little cuts, scratches, and if it's, uh, if it's a feather louse, you're gonna see nits. The lice put little eggs, and they build up the yeah. little white pack of nits on the base of the feather. So you're gonna look for that and usually you look under the wing, you're gonna look kind of like under your, under your arm, okay, yeah. when you see there's fewer feathers, you'll see them move there, 
you look at the vent, right around the vent where it's moist and warm, that's how they like to congregate and they'll be moving there. Uh, now the other type of, of mite is called the scaly leg mite. Scaly and leg scaly mite. Scaly leg mite. All right. And that's where the scales actually start lifting up and you see crunk, crunchy looking scales and pretty bad. Now that mite, uh, it doesn't react well to the, to the dust bathing. It doesn't react that well. Again, or you can't use the pyrethrins, permethrins or carbaryl against that very well. What I recommend is actually, it seems harsh, but you dip the leg in gasoline for about 45 seconds, let it air dry, and then I use what's called vitamin A and D ointment. Yeah. And if you've heard of A and D ointment. Yeah, I've heard of A and D. And you rub an A and D ointment on it. It's like diaper so, rash ointment. Right, yeah. so day one, you're gonna dip in for about 45 seconds once, and then you're gonna put on the A and D ointment, and then on day two, just the day, the ointment, and day three, your second dip. And when you do that, you're gonna get rid of the, the scaly leg mite pretty much for a very long time because the gasoline actually is a solvent that kills the adult because it, it, it actually you know, gets through their skin yeah. and through the exoskeleton and kills them. But what it does more than the other drugs do is it goes up under the scale and it actually dehydrates and breaks the eggs that are sitting on there waiting to hatch. So you really get rid of the whole problem. Wow. So now those I, are good I, solutions. I can hear the question already. Mm -hmm. Does any of that gasoline soak in and Very get little. into the bird? No, not enough, because you're doing a short-term exposure. Many people have had enough gasoline in their hands from going to the gas station. Yeah, I get gas fill, in my hand all the time. the lawnmower and stuff like that. Yeah. You probably have more exposure over, over a month or two months period of time handling gasoline in the summer for lawnmowers and stuff yeah. than you will for the chicken getting dipped. You know, it doesn't hurt. We've been using this for years, and we haven't heard of a problem yet. So no, that's a really good tip. Yeah. So scaly leg mite. I didn't even know that. I have never seen it before. So that uh, that's some really good piece of advice. And I would have never thought to dip chicken's legs in the gasoline to get rid of it. If you have any questions about this, if it seems kind of crazy, you know, this is a guy who knows. He's 30 years, 30 plus 35 years. 35 years. 35 years Here raising chickens, and mm -hmm. he knows his poultry. Mike loves the birds. He's going to do what's best for them, and we're going to take that knowledge, give it to you guys. If you have any questions, comment section below. Like the video if you like Dr. Mike as much as I do. And until next time, I will see you out in the incubator room? Yep. In the incubator room? Incubator room. All right.